Jimmy Butler helped account for 24 points himself in the third quarter. He was sensational last night. And first off, I think we all owe Jimmy Butler an apology. Because when he signed with the Miami Heat a couple of seasons ago, people said, you don't really want to win. You just want the lifestyle of Miami. You don't really want to contend for a championship. You just want to hang out on South Beach. He fought with coaches, couldn't stand teammates, didn't like front offices, had blown his way out of town multiple places, including Minnesota and Philadelphia. He was volatile. He didn't take winning seriously, and that's why he signed with a Miami Heat team that was not a contender. And a couple of years later, Jimmy Butler's been to an NBA Finals and is a one seed in the East again. Not bad. He actually chose a winner. Or at least he chose a place where he could help them become a winner. Butler's been phenomenal since he got to Miami. And yes, earlier in the season, there was the dust up on the sidelines with Eric Spolstra. But I, I guess that comes with Butler where you know he's going to perhaps blow his top at times, perhaps seem uncontrollable, but you need him, you want him in games like last night where he did it all offensively and defensively. Butler is just phenomenal when it comes to doing all the little things that help a team win when it gets grimy, when it gets gritty, when it gets tough, like the playoffs. So Butler deserves an apology for, from all of us who assumed he wasn't going to Miami to win. He was going to Miami to chill. Number two, I've said this all along. I think the Miami Heat have walked a weird line all season where they've straddled overrated and underrated at the same time. What I mean by that is I think somewhat they're overrated in that they're overseeded. We look at them in the Eastern Conference as the one seed and I don't think they're necessarily the best team in the East. I think the Bucks are actually the best team in the East. So as a one, you say, well, they're not a traditional one where, like the Suns, they were the best team in the conference. Their record and seeding reflects it. I think they're underrated, though, because they have gotten none of the attention everybody else in the East has. The Nets have gotten a ton of attention. The Sixers, obviously, a ton of attention. The Bucks, by virtue of being the defending champs, get attention. The Celtics get plenty of attention. The Heat don't. The Heat don't have a Tier A superstar. Butler's the closest thing to it. So the Heat, somehow as a one seed in a really tough conference, have existed under the radar. So in that way, they're underrated. I think the Heat will make life difficult on everybody that they play. I don't think they end up in the NBA Finals. I don't. But I do think there is not a series out there that they fear, and there's not a series out there that they can't win. I don't think there's a matchup that they can't win. Whether it's Butler, who does things like last night, guys like Tyler Hero, Duncan Robinson, Bam Adebayo, they're just all underrated. They're all good players. It's a deep team. They add Kyle Lowry in the offseason. He's been good as well. They're well coached from Eric Spolstra. They're not built like your traditional NBA champions that have a super duper star and then some role players around them. The Bucks were built that way last year. All of the LeBron teams have been built that way revolving around LeBron. The Warriors had multiple superstars, but obviously everything revolved around either Steph or Kevin Durant. And today's Heat team is just different. That's not what they're going to do. A different guy's going to step up. It's not going to be Butler every single night. Butler's also not a guy that you just bank on 30 points per game. But they have all the pieces, and they proved that in the bubble a couple of years ago going to the finals. And they proved it over the course of this regular season again. The one seeded Heat cruised to a 2 0 series lead going back to Atlanta. Although I will say that it feels like.
Trey Young is just waiting to go off in game number three. I imagine a very, very big Trey Young game in game three because that's their Hail Mary. They must win that game to stay in this series.